Still don't know what Bitcoin is? Here's what you need to know. We all have that provoking friend who's always bragging about buying a mining rig or investing in Bitcoin, talking about making hundreds of thousands of dollars overnight. But no matter how much you pretend to ignore that particularly over-enthusiastic crypto fanatic, the truth is that sooner or later, you'll want to know what all the fuss is about. And that's exactly what we'll cover in today's video. Join us as we explore the most important facts about the very first cryptocurrency to have ever been implemented in the real world. By the end of the video, you'll be using all the jargon like a pro, and even making thousands of dollars every day. Perhaps you'll finally decide to follow your friend's crypto investing advice. But first, please support our channel by clicking like, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any new updates on this frontline technology. So, what is Bitcoin? In short, Bitcoin is a type of cryptocurrency. This means that it's a type of electronic or digital money that only exists in computer hardware and that is based on cryptography. It was created in 2009 as an open source computer program by an unknown author or authors that use the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. As a form of currency, the main goal of Bitcoin is to provide a decentralized currency whose distribution and exchange isn't controlled or regulated by any government or centralized authority. Bitcoin offers five remarkable features for those who embrace it. One, it's completely public and anyone can use it. Two, it can be used as a single worldwide currency, bypassing regular fiat currencies. Three, it allows almost instantaneous peer-to-peer -peer transactions. No more waiting for three to five business days. Four, transactions have very low processing fees. Five, it is virtually impossible to counterfeit. As of today, we can already use Bitcoins to pay for many different services that range from booking hotels, buying games, shopping for furniture, buying a house, and many more. As cryptos become more popular, the number of businesses that embrace Bitcoin as a payment method keeps climbing every day. How does Bitcoin work? Bitcoin is based on an open source computer algorithm running on thousands of computers around the world, which process and verify transactions. These computers are called nodes, but people know them as Bitcoin miners. As the software verifies transactions, it creates new Bitcoins by a process called mining and keeps track of the ownership of the created Bitcoins on a distributed ledger called the blockchain. This ledger contains the record of all the transactions that have ever been made since Bitcoin's release in 2009. The way the process works is simple. Every time someone makes a transaction, like paying an Expedia with Bitcoins for example, the information about the sender, receiver, and transferred amount is grouped with other transactions and added to the end of the ledger in the form of a block of information. A copy of this chain of blocks or blockchain, in other words, the ledger, is distributed to all the computers in the network that run the Bitcoin software, and is updated hundreds of times per day, so that everyone has a copy of that ledger at any given time. That's why it's called the distributed ledger. This is the biggest difference between Bitcoin and traditional money, since in the latter case, all transactions are received, processed, and registered by a single centralized institution, like your bank or your credit card company. You will have to entrust your transaction history to these institutions. The ledger is encrypted to avoid being tampered with by hackers, but the fact that each updated copy of the ledger is verified independently by thousands of computers, any altered ledger will be quickly identified and discarded, making counterfeiting bitcoins virtually impossible. Nobody can cheat others on transactions, and you don't just let the bank to dictate your transaction accuracy, as the ledger on blockchain is essentially cross-verified. Okay. This was just a general overview of the way Bitcoin works, but now let's take a closer look at the specifics behind the blockchain and Bitcoin mining. How exactly is the blockchain verified? Let's recap quickly. Recent transactions are grouped and added to the ledger in blocks, right? But before each block is actually added to the chain, it has to be verified. But how if all the information is encrypted? The solution to the problem is actually very clever. 
When a block is created, the encryption process generates a code known as a hash. This hash is unique to the combination of users' addresses and transaction amounts in that particular block, making it practically impossible to generate a forged transaction with the same hash. So what the Bitcoin miner must do is verify the hash, not the actual information inside the block. Once the block's hash is verified, the other computers in the network double check, accept it, and a new block is added to the chain. We'll cover Bitcoin mining in just a minute and talk about how people use it to make a lot of money. So don't miss a minute of what's to come. Bitcoins and Satoshis. How much is a Bitcoin worth? Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. It is virtual and digital. Just like all currencies in the world today, it is also not backed by assets like gold. Its real value depends on people's demand. However, just like gold and other rare metals, it does have a limited quantity of just over 21 million Bitcoin to ever be mined. With this in mind, many people are investing in Bitcoin. Since its inception, price has soared several times, yielding huge profits to early adapters. The battle in this purely supply and demand-driven market between buyers and sellers makes Bitcoin's price fluctuate wildly and very volatile. On December 16th, 2017, it reached a record $19,289 per Bitcoin, but value plummeted from this all-time high in the following months. At the time of this video, it fluctuates around $10,000 and has been stable in the last couple of months after it recovered from the coronavirus crash. The point is that Bitcoins are very valuable. So valuable, in fact, that using Bitcoin as a unit isn't too practical for everyday purchases. Imagine buying a burger and paying with Bitcoins. If the burger costs $5, that would be equivalent to around 0.0005 Bitcoin if each Bitcoin is valued at $10,000. Since this number is hard to grasp by most, Bitcoins today are divided into smaller units called Satoshis. Just as there are 100 cents in a dollar, there are 100 million Satoshis in a Bitcoin. This makes things a lot easier to understand, because now we can say that that $5 burger would cost 50,000 Satoshis, instead of saying 0.00050000 Bitcoin. Now we know that having Bitcoins means having money, but how exactly do people make money with Bitcoins? That's the question in all our heads. Let's find out next. How do people make money with Bitcoin? There are two basic ways to make money with Bitcoin. If you don't count offering products or services and charging Bitcoin as a form of payment. The first one is to connect your computer to the network and start mining Bitcoins. And the second one is through trading. Let's explore each of these in turn. Bitcoin mining. Remember how we talked about a computer verifying the block before it was added to the chain? That's what's called Bitcoin mining. Let's dig deeper into how this works. So each block has its own hash, and the miner has to verify that hash in order to verify the block. To do this, it has to go through millions of calculations to find a very long and unique 32-bit number called a nonce that is able to reproduce the block's hash through an algorithm. This takes an awesome amount of computational power, electricity slash energy, and time. So it's only normal that we would wonder why anyone would put their poor computer through that ordeal. The answer, of course, is money. To encourage as many people as possible to join the network and enable multiple verifications to keep Bitcoin transactions secure, the software is designed to create new Bitcoins for the owner of the computer every time it successfully verifies a block. That's why it's called Bitcoin mining, because after all that hard work, new Bitcoins are produced. Now, before you think of running to Radio Shack and buying your first Bitcoin miner, beware of the fact that the total number of Bitcoins you can get through mining decreases over time. What's more, the system is designed to make finding the nonce harder each day. Today, 10 years after Bitcoin's creation, mining Bitcoins has become so hard that the hardware and amount of power required makes it too hard to make much of a profit at all. But don't despair you could mine other cryptocurrencies instead, or you could try the second way to make money with Bitcoins. Trading Bitcoins. So one Bitcoin is worth today around $10,000. 
yet it has reached a value twice as high, so it's safe to say that the price fluctuates. Because of this, many people have seen Bitcoin as a way to invest their money. To make money like this, you invest your money buying Bitcoins when the price is low, or at least stable, in the hopes that it will increase further down the road. If it does, you then sell the Bitcoins you have and make a profit from the difference in prices. To give you an idea of how profitable this can be, if we had invested $100 worth in Bitcoins back in 2009 or early 2010, when each Bitcoin was valued at a fraction of a penny, today we would have millions of dollars worth of Bitcoins because each Bitcoin is now valued at around $10,000. Who would have known? On the other hand, if you had bought $100 worth of Bitcoins at its peak in 2017, today you would have lost half of your money. So it goes to show that the possibility of great profits also comes with the risk of great losses. All we've covered until now shows the positive side of Bitcoin, but it does have its caveats. Bitcoin's Dark Side We wouldn't be giving an honest assessment of Bitcoin if we didn't cover its negative side. The biggest problem Bitcoin faces is actually related to one of its strengths, anonymity. You see, transactions in Bitcoins doesn't identify the parties involved other than a bunch of digits, so the system can become a platform for money laundering, tax evasion, and other criminal activities. This is why many governments are trying to find ways to regulate the use of Bitcoins, although they still haven't succeeded. What do you think of Bitcoin and its uses? Are you currently investing in cryptocurrency? Leave a comment and join the discussion. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.